Okay, committee members, we're here tonight. We've got to settle on the theme. I think the theme should be, what do we really think about high school and what do we really forget? But what I want to know is, you know, all the things that I couldn't get answers to when I was a kid. Hey, so do you have any idea why we used to call Rockwell Big Dick? <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> I was wondering, you remember when we were on that senior trip and we went to uh, Mackinac Island? Who was it that threw that fireman's axe over the side of the boat anyway? Do you know? <laughs> I've been wondering if my prom date's leftover Caesar salad is still under the front seat of my uncle's GTO. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you ever go to the junior and senior football games, the girls' game? Did you ever wonder what the guys wore under their skirts? I sure did. They were short enough. <laughs> I wondered if it's really true that um, Rudy Zeal took hostages on the Bob Lowe boat after consuming too much spiked oranges. Do you think the initials SS really stood for Sheila Shook, or did they stand for Sharon Stone? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I wondered if um, Mr. Jones really had a twin brother, or if he was teaching at Kimball and Dundero at the same time. <laughs> no, we're not talking about you. Just just come to the reunion. <laughs> I remember Miss Ruth Cowan. She enjoyed hosting the lit dance where the girls would ask the guys, I wonder if Miss Ruth Cowan ever smiled after she retired because she never smiled in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Dick, I've always wondered if Mr. Strain actually put worms in his mouth to teach all of us students not to kiss those dirty human mouths. No, it was not to kiss worms. <laughs> I just wonder if I could fit into that swimsuit we used to use for swimming class. I might need three of them. <laughs> Remember my, uh, my civics teacher, Mr. Johnson? He used to lean against the, uh, the windowsill, and we were all taking a test, and he would take his, his belt loop, and he would hook it over the pencil sharpener and fall asleep. And he would just... Throughout the whole test... He did. Every time he gave a test, the first question on the test was, who were the four children who introduced the chapter on you know, city government? And I'd write, Bruce Wayne, Clark Kent, <laughs> Aquaman, and, and Tom Greenwood. Yeah. And I'd get those four wrong on every test. Oh. And then get this, just the best. I lost my notebook. We had to do... Uh, the whole chapter, answer all the questions. I lost it the day before we had to turn in six chapters. Oh. So I went home and I answered all the questions, all six chapters, every single question. What is a picket fence? So I went, I drew a picture of a picket fence. And you know what Mr. Johnson wrote in my notebook? You are too often satisfied with the mediocre. Oh. So I said, <laughs> what? And I went, like, would a mediocre student have pulled an all-nighter to redo six chapters of work? Oh, Mr. No. Johnson, I hope you're still hanging from that pencil chart. <laughs> I wonder if Tom Greenwood had any permanent damage of his finger after he stuck it in the electric socket in, at, in the Bablo boat that we took up to Mackinac. <laughs> I, I heard they had to row the boat back. <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> I looked up this morning. 